Did you ever dream that you could meet a Prince Charming in real life? It finally became a reality. From Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs to Tangled and Frozen, all your favorite Disney characters have been recreated by a talented artist named Jurka Vince Jonathan Vatainen. Do you want to know what they look like? If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we are showing you 15 Disney princes reimagined as real people. Flynn Rider He was the first man Rapunzel ever saw after spending years alone in a tower, and she couldn't find any better looking man. But do you know what makes this character look so handsome? He was designed after a process called Hot Man Meeting. The creators set up a meeting with all the female employees at the Disney studio. They asked them about what makes a man good looking, including the eye color, the color of his hair, and his body type. This is how they got a lot of ideas to design the perfect prince for Rapunzel. Now, do you want to know what he would look like in real life? We didn't think that it would be possible, but Flynn Rider looks more handsome than ever. With a pretty face like this, we have to admit that we wouldn't even mind if the thief tried to steal our hearts. Eric This prince must have been really handsome to make a mermaid want to leave the sea forever. With just one look, she was ready to give away her voice and risk her life for him. And you know why he looked so good? Beauty seems to run in the family. In the dining room in Eric's castle, you can see a painting of a man and a woman who look a lot like Prince Philip and Princess Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. If these two families are related, we would understand why Prince Eric and Philip look so good. They both have the best genes. If you want proof, just take a look at Eric in real life. Ariel wanted to leave the ocean for him, and now we want to leave the real world to meet this cartoon character. If only he were part of our world, this is what a happy ending would look like. Aladdin The street urchin wanted to use three of his wishes to make Princess Jasmine fall in love with him. She was not interested in Prince Ali, but loved him as he was, and so do we. But did you know that Aladdin didn't always look so good? At first, he was supposed to look like Michael J. Fox, but the developers didn't think he would have enough appeal for women. Jasmine was too beautiful compared to him, and the viewers wouldn't believe that she fell for an ordinary street urchin like him. This is why they made him look older, took off his shirt, and designed him so he would look more like Tom Cruise. And do you want to see what Aladdin looks like in real life? The genie made our wish come true with this artwork. We can now see a little more of Tom Cruise in him, don't you think? Li Shang The captain might not be a prince, but he is a powerful man. Mulan was under his command, but not under his spell. That girl had better things to do than fall for a man until the end of the film. But as viewers, we can take the time to appreciate the look of the one they call Pretty Boy. And you know what looks even better? Jackie Chan was the actor who did the voice of the character in Mandarin. He even made a music video of the song, I'll Make a Man Out of You. So Li Shang actually already came to life. But do you still want to know what he looks like reimagined as a real person? Here is Li Shang looking better than ever. If we were a man, we wish we would look like him. The Prince This man must be really handsome to make the fairest of them all fall in love with him. He barely knew her, but that didn't keep him from saving Snow White with a kiss of true love. But did you know that he was supposed to have a much more important role in the film? He was supposed to be a part of many other scenes, including one when he is trapped in a dungeon and the witch uses magic to entertain him. Unfortunately, it was too difficult to animate him convincingly, so the animators were forced to reduce his part. So now, we want to see more of this prince. With such a cute look, he would be the perfect match for Snow White. We can't wait for the day this prince will come. Gaston 
He might not be a prince, but he certainly thought that he was one. This heartbreaker loved to see that he got a lot of attention from women, but the one he wanted was the girl who didn't even want to take a look at him, Belle. If only she had taken the time to do that, there is one thing we would know about him. He might still be alive. In the first version of the film, you could see skulls in his eyes when he was falling, but then they were removed, so the viewers would not know what happened to him. So now, let's take a look at him before he hits the ground. Gaston seems happy to have more girls to flirt with in our world. He does look great, but we are just waiting for him to work more on his personality than his body. Peter Pan This unforgettable character needs to be part of our list as the unofficial Prince of Neverland. But he can't be a king because this boy never wanted to grow up. So what was the secret to look young forever? The character resembles his voice actor, Bobby Driscoll. This this child was only 13 years old at the time, and he already had a role in Song of the South and Treasure Island. This was his last major role, so just like the cartoon character, Driscoll will be remembered as a child forever. Now let's take a look at Peter Pan in the real world. He looks like a young teenager who could be our high school crush, but we bet that he won't stay in our world for too long. There are too many responsibilities out there. Cocoum Pocahontas's story could have ended up differently if the princess listened to her father. The young woman was looking for something more exotic, but that doesn't keep Cocoam from being one of the most handsome men on this land. And actually, if a scene hadn't been deleted, we would love him even more. The Native American warrior was supposed to show his love for Pocahontas as he just completed their house and talked kindly to her. He was even supposed to to sing to her in that scene. This is much more romantic than a stranger trying to take away her land. And now, let's see what he looks like as a real person. We would love to see a little smile on his face, but we do like that he looks more determined than ever. Prince Charming After one night with Cinderella, he already knew that she was the girl he wanted to marry. This is why he did everything he could to find her after she ran away. We can only dream of a guy doing all this for us. And there are many other reasons to love Prince Charming. In the movie, we were supposed to see a scene in which he was hunting to establish him as a sporty type. But then, we would realize that he was only playing with his friend the deer to make him an animal lover instead. We would have loved to see that version of the story. Do you want to know if he looks better as a cartoon or a real person? Let's see how an artist reimagined him. This is a face that we will never forget forget, even if we saw him just one night. Do you prefer this picture or Richard Madden in the role of the prince? Hercules The legendary hero was the son of gods with superhuman strength, but that didn't mean that he could take anything for granted. He had to train hard to be a hero and then become a god like his parents. And there are probably so many things that you didn't know about this man. The movie is about Greek myths, but the name Hercules is Roman. He would have actually been called Heracles in Greek. Moreover, his father is Zeus, who is the brother of Poseidon, who has a son named Triton, who has a daughter named Ariel. This makes the two Disney characters related. But now, it is time to see how an artist reimagined him. It seems like this this hero is taking a break after fighting so many monsters. We can't blame Hercules. We would be doing the same thing if we were him. Kristoff He wasn't the kind of guy Anna would immediately fall for, but that is what made him even better. Underneath all these coats was a heart that will love her no matter what happens. Kristoff was beautiful on the inside and he was worth the time it took to discover it. But did you know that he was actually very Poor, Kristoff didn't seem to have a home and worked in ice harvesting, which is a dangerous job men usually do when they really need money. Moreover, in original drafts, he was supposed to help Anna just because of money. 
but he learned that love is worth so much more. Let's see what he looks like in the real world. Kristoff looks really similar to the cartoon character. We would love to give him a big warm hug. Naveen. This prince wasn't shy to ask a random girl to kiss him, but Naveen never thought that they would both end up transformed into amphibians. We barely had the chance to know what he looked like as a human, but at first, that prince wasn't really charming. He used to call Tiana princess and then waitress, symbolizing how he objectified her. He only started calling her by her real name when he fell in love with her. But since his name means new in English, Indian. This story is all about change. We can forgive this mistake as long as he behaves well now. Naveen was transformed into a frog, but now let's turn him into a real person. He looks so good that we want to see a live action movie of this story. This time, we wouldn't mind if the prince asked for a kiss. John Smith if a man tried to steal our land, we would be pissed. So John Smith must have had a little something special to make Pocahontas want to teach him about the beauty of nature. What was even better to look at was the man himself. But the real story of Pocahontas was really different from what Disney told us. The Native American was only 10 years old when she saved John, not in her early 20s. So these two were obviously not in love with each other. Pocahontas actually married another John, John Rolfe, years later in Europe. Now let's see what John Smith would look like in our universe. He seems like he is ready to go on an adventure, and we are ready to follow him. Who knows where the wind could take us? Philip. This prince barely got the chance to know Aurora before she fell into a deep sleep. But no matter what, he had the courage to do everything he could to save her from the curse. And there are many more things that the princess would have known if she wasn't sleeping during all this time. We all remember the scene in which Philip meets Aurora for the first time. But did you know that Disney wanted it to be so perfect that it had to be done four times? The studio was near bankruptcy because of that, but when we see the result, we think that it was worth it. Now it is time to see if this man looks as handsome as the one we walked with once upon a dream. Here he is. We wouldn't mind waking up next to this pretty face every day. Adam. We only got the chance to see the prince at the end of the movie, and it was worth the wait. By learning how to be beautiful on the inside, Adam learned how to be even more handsome on the outside. If you want to see what early versions of the Beast character looked like, they were actually part of the movie. These drawings were turned into sculptures in the castle. The supervising animator created him by combining a lion, a buffalo, a wild boar, a gorilla, a wolf, and a bear. His blue eyes are the only things that are human. Now is another moment you have been waiting for, the real-life version of Prince Adam. Here he is, right after the transformation. We would love to run our fingers through his hair. But who do you think looks better, the man in this picture or Dan Stevens in the role of the Beast? And that's it for 15 Disney princes reimagined as real people. Which one would have the chance to be your Prince Charming? Tell us what you think in the comment section down below. And if you haven't seen it yet, don't forget to watch 10 people who shockingly look like Disney princesses. Thanks for watching.